Endgame. The aftermath of everything. Some say it's the best part of a game, others never get to experience it. Its elusive nature on Warframe, especially after the departure of the Void Key system, is something of an appeal for me. Many say the game lacks true endgame or that it will never be able to achieve such a mark. Today I want to explore this topic. I'm Dus, and thanks in advance for watching. I haven't heard of a game that doesn't struggle with endgame, since it's supposed to be the content that comes after you're finished with all the content. This was a word that gained relevance for gamers since the MMOs started to become popular. The concept of games as a service was taking its first steps, and these long-time commitments needed something to expand on what it already was a gigantic investment. The idea was to keep players engaged beyond the traditional ending of a video game, banking on the fact that many would gladly take any excuse in order to keep on playing their favorite game. But Endgame always struggles, since it's very hard to satisfy those whose experience within the game's environment gives them a unique perspective of things, allowing them to tackle pretty much anything faster and more efficiently than the average player. This type of content is the hardest to design for one simple reason. It doesn't matter how much of it you introduce, there's always going to be an end to it. And when this happens, players are left wanting, so the cycle treads on. The answer to the endgame question is not set in stone. Some games approach it by making parts of the already developed content more replayable, adding tougher challenges and better rewards. This is also the basic concept of what is known as raids, although the concept itself has evolved to the point where today's raids are specifically designed for the purpose of being exclusive experiences, tailor-made for those who have gone through all, with unique dungeons or levels, filled with challenges that can only be tackled by those who have met the highest standards, with a big chest of exclusive rewards right at the end, the icing on the cake. This in turn creates tangible things that transform into memories, thus enticing the player to keep going eager for what's next. Another approach is to create seemingly unsurmountable mountains of power, goals that can only be achieved by the most committed and accomplished, rankings, level, hidden skills, things that feed on the most important feeling for a hardcore gamer, pride. In a world of many, only a few get to these goals, and that is alluring to all, that feeling of being superior, of standing out. But in every game, these seemingly easy to develop concepts become extremely difficult to implement, because player ambition knows no bounds. In Warframe, the endgame struggle is very real, especially since the old days of the Void Key system are long past. By making something branded as Endgame by the community more accessible, the game then became stale and empty once you were done with everything. And it's not that the developers didn't try to introduce some other type of parallel content. Trials were the first real attempt. Their ambition was only topped by their monumental failure. Game-breaking bugs and hollow rewards were part of their downfall. Eventually, the decision to remove them, although painful for many, will hopefully make room for better things in the future. Then came the focus system, devised as the aforementioned mountain of power. But as with most things, time would prove relentless, and player determination kept on. Now, some have already finished the climb, with others only going as far up as they deemed appropriate making this system ancillary to the experience due not only to its optionality but to its irrelevance in the grand scheme of things. Focus is not a goal many pride in achieving, it's a plus, an extra, something incredibly time-consuming that doesn't make you that special. River Mods was another attempt at quenching the endgame thirst. This one was vastly more successful than its predecessors, providing players with a tangible increase in power. Searching for the most optimized role for the best weapon and then trying for more. A never-ending chase, an interesting twist to the carrot on a stick theory. Many players dived in head first, creating an entire economy based on a simple mod. Some are worth a small fortune of that premium currency, but the absolute randomness of the whole experience is something that is not for everyone, and those who partake in it were still left wanting for more, 
since there was no place in which these incredibly powerful tools were actually needed. Finally, Sanctuary Onslaught. The concept is brilliant, but terribly flawed in its execution. Still, this is the closest thing to challenge and worthy rewards that we have seen in a very long time. It provides an environment in which all those who have attained the highest echelons of power find purpose. With brand new rewards and sufficient incentives for those who haven't engaged in some of the older systems. But as with everything, the eventuality of time will make the mode ancillary. Once those interested have attained their newfound goals, the game mode will languish, unless the flow of new, relevant and worthy rewards keeps the onslaught fresh, providing a never-ending excuse to keep diving and never stop. If anything, this mode has proven that there are ways in which players, old and new, can be enticed into something, as long as it's fun, rewarding and sufficiently challenging. Today, the answer for Endgame seems a little closer. Some will say that it's already here, but I believe that true Endgame is that which can stand the test of time, and Sanctuary Onslaught still has to pass that test. For my part, this has been all for today. If you enjoyed the video or you found it interesting, please consider giving it a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more Warframe content and follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with everything. Again, thank you very much for watching. Whatever you are, have an amazing day. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.